Hey guys, Cyber Shark. Relax, I was just gonna get there. Anyway, as this little buddy was saying, 80% of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Hey, what Pokemon are you? Three major events took place the weekend of May 7th, Indianapolis Regionals, which was the largest, and two smaller events in Brazil and Spain, with the Secaucus New Jersey Regional Championships coming up on May 21st and being played in the same format as these past regionals, the results from the weekend of May 7th will surely influence the metagame and the deck lists that players prepare for this next event. Starting our recap with the smallest of the three events from the weekend of May 7th, we have Joinville Regionals. Pedro Pertusi won the event with an Arceus Beeberl deck and including Crobat VMAX, Hoopa V, and Lucario V-Star as the situational backup attackers. This list wasn't anything groundbreaking, since you can pretty much put anything you want into an Arceus b burl deck, but it did prove that the combination of dark, psychic, and fighting attackers included into an Arceus V-Star deck had the means to beat just about any deck in the field. These results will likely be taken into account with less weight when compared to the other events, since it was smaller, but the field was full of top-tier decks like Mew VMAX, Whimsical, caught V-Star and Arceus Inteleon, so I do think that this Arceus Lucario deck has legs even in a larger event. Special Event Bilbao had slightly more players in attendance, but also included world-renowned players such as Tord Reklev, Stefan Ivanov, and Pedro Torres. Tord and Pedro played Rapid Strike Urshifu Inteleon Dark decks, but their lists differed, and Stefan Ivanov played a Hoopa Moltres Inteleon deck. These players all have international championship wins in their career history, along with countless more major accomplishments, so it is safe to assume that they all wanted to play decks that they felt could win the event, or at the very least top 8 the event. It would seem these elite players all evaluated that a dark toolbox deck was a very good selection for the event. Tord Reklev ended up in second place, losing to Alessandro Kremiscali, piloting Whimsicott V-Star, a deck that popped up into the mainstream a few weeks ago in EUIC. Whimsicott V-Star does have its shortcomings regarding consistency issues and being weaker to decks that function without special energy, but I was impressed to see it close out a major tournament win. Finally, the largest event of the weekend was Indianapolis Regionals with over 1,000 Masters Division competitors. Wanting a deck with winnable matchups across the board, I selected to play Mew VMAX for this event, which landed me in the top 128 by the end of the event. Mew VMAX has been the proclaimed best deck in format since the beginning of the Brilliant Stars format, and I imagine it will continue to be recognized as such. While there were three Mew VMAX decks in top 8 of the event, in the end, they could not match the consistency and adaptability of Arceus V-Star. Ian Robb and Isaiah Bradner both piloted very different Arceus V-Star focus lists into the finals, with Ian Robb coming out victorious due to his deck's strengths and extra options against opposing Arceus V-Star decks. After seeing Rapid Strike Urshifu dominate at the EUIC just weeks ago, it was surprising to see that the highest placing Rapid Strike Urshifu was 43rd place. The group of players including Isaiah Bradner and Justin Bakari, who refined the Rapid Strike Urshifu list for EUIC, which secured them two top 8 finishes, switched to Arceus Inteleon with a Beedrill and Single Strike Mustard package for Indianapolis. Seeing this talented group of players resign playing Urshifu for the weekend really showed just how much they expected the metagame to adapt around and against Rapid Strike Urshifu. Moving into the New Jersey Regionals and then the Vancouver Regionals the week after, I expect the metagame to be quite volatile. I can safely say I expect Arceus V-Star decks to be very popular and very successful, but the card is so versatile and adaptable by nature, which makes it difficult to say exactly which Arceus V-Star variant is the best or most likely to be popular and successful. Arceus Inteleon with water energy, such as piloted by Pablo Meza to a top 8 finish in Indianapolis, and Arceus Inteleon with dark energy such as piloted by Andrew Weiss to a top 4 finish, will likely make up the most popular deck of the events if you allow these two variants to be put under the umbrella of Arceus Inteleon. Mew VMAX is still an undeniably strong deck, but players have now seen proof that other decks are winning events, which may cause players to leave Mew behind for something more interesting. Rapid Strike Urshifu can still do well, but it will take a refined list and a skilled pilot to do so. I'm expecting Arceus variants to be very popular, and unless there are some foolproof counters for Arceus in general, I also expect Arceus to be the most successful deck of the New Jersey Regional Championships. Good luck if you are competing in the upcoming regionals, and thanks for watching today's metagame update here on Beast Coast Pokemon.